If we then navigate to home.ts, our homepage, we can hold the value of the person's name that we want to greet. So let's make ourselves a class-wide variable named person name. We can make that of type string by adding a colon after the variable name, and then of course, seeing that this is a string. So now that we have access to that person name, we can head back to home.html, and on our ion input, we can add an ng model. We can assign the value of the ng model equal to that person name variable. At a very high level, all you need to understand here is that the ng model is a two-way binding between the person name variable and our input. So essentially anything that changes person name, whether it is something programmatically inside of our TypeScript or whether it's the user changing it in the view, it will update that input. So when the user types in to the input, our variable is updated inside of our class. As a result, we can make a show greeting function. The show greeting can also take a person name. And before going any further, let's simply use console.log to log the name out to the console. So when the user hits that show greeting button, we can see what's inside the value of our name. So if we head back to home.html, we can add a click event on this button. The click event will fire the show greeting function and will pass in the person name as a parameter. Now we could also console.log this dot person name and effectively it would be the same thing but the reason we're adding it here as a parameter as it just makes our function more flexible and more testable. So as you can see now when the user hits this button the show greeting function will fire and the person name for example what the user has typed in this input box will be sent to that function. So in order to see this if you right click and hit inspect, and for now we'll just move this to one platform. And if I type in Paul Halliday as a name, and I click show greeting, you can see here that inside of the console is the name that we typed in. If we change this, we get the updated version of that name each time the user selects something new. Let's now look at how we can display a toast to the user, so a little alert box, when they hit that show greeting button.